In this video, we're gonna go over 10 essential desk setup upgrades to help you piece together your dream setup. Some of these are super cheap and others I'm going to show you are a bit more expensive but have way cheaper alternatives. So regardless, we're going to get you to properly spend your hard-earned cash. And I'll throw up the price for each product on screen as well as link them down below in the description for you guys. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first upgrade is something I myself should have added a really long time ago and that's adding lights behind your monitor. And I'm not just talking about slapping some nano leaf panels on the wall and calling it a day. These are Philips Hue play bars. I have them stuck with 3M tape on the back of both my ultra wide and vertical monitors. And if you're questioning why I did this, it's not only because it makes my setup look cooler, but it actually helps prevent eye strain since it removes the harsh contrast between your monitors and the wall behind them. And let me tell you, it genuinely helps. Like I always need to have them on now. If you're someone who sits at your PC a lot, maybe you work from home or you edit videos, your eyes will thank you for doing this. These play bars are pretty expensive though. So if you don't want to spend that kind of cash, which I understand, you could always grab the Govi LED light bars for way cheaper and do the exact same thing. Or you could always just use basic LED strips. It's up to you. Keeping on the topic of lighting, this next upgrade is the BenQ screen bar halo. Now don't freak out about dropping $179 because there are plenty of other options but I absolutely recommend investing in a light bar for the top of your monitor, not only because it helps reduce eye strain like the last item, but it also helps illuminate your desk pad area, while also keeping an aesthetic and low profile footprint on your desk. The screen bar halo in particular comes with a wireless remote that I absolutely love. It's like this little puck device. You can change between three lighting modes, brightness levels, and temperature. It also has a built-in backlight, which is like a two-in-one upgrade if you're running a single monitor setup and wanted basic lighting behind your monitor like the first item in this video. And if you're someone who works at night a lot like me, well, then this is absolutely something for you. Me personally, I love love to use it primarily for product shots and unboxings. I feel like it just kind of shines in that area. So maybe if you're like me and you're a tech creator for say TikTok or YouTube, this might be a pretty good investment. This next item is dirt cheap, but an absolute godsend. Like pretty much everybody should have this at this point. If you have a monitor like mine where the display connectors are positioned vertically at the bottom of the monitor, then you might want to pick up some of these 90 degree HDMI or display port adapters. For between six to 15 bucks on Amazon, depending on the connector you need, you can pick up a pack of these things and take your cable management from this to this. It's like a permanent night and day difference for the cost of a bowl from Chipotle. You can then Velcro or zip tie your cables to your monitor arm or stand and keep them completely hidden and then bang. No more ugly cables. It's literally the easiest upgrade in the world. It's super cheap and it takes like two seconds. Ironically, I actually gave away the next essential desk setup upgrade and that's investing in a good monitor arm. These things can be higher in your budget depending on the brand and type you go with, but they are beyond worth it for any setup. The ones I have showcased here are from Airgear. These are both the same one and they are supporting a 32 inch curved display vertically as well as a 34 inch ultra wide horizontally. So they got some strength. They simply clamp to the back of your desk and are screwed into the back of your monitor. The most crucial part about them though is that they are gas spring monitor arms. This is pretty important. That means I can place them in whatever orientation I want and they'll stay. I picked them up on Amazon for about 50 bucks each at the time, but now they sell like a more updated version that's a bit more expensive. But again, there's a bunch of alternatives. This is just the brand that I use. Like I said earlier, the gas spring feature is the most important here. So whatever brand you go with, just make sure it has that. I do recommend wall mounting your displays though, if that's possible for you. I personally can't do that because it's against my apartment lease and I don't want to lose my security deposit. So this is the next best thing for me. Moving on to the fifth desk setup upgrade. We have this desk shelf from Grovemade. This thing is very expensive and understandably out of budget for a lot of people, but thankfully cheaper options are available from human centric or even just on Amazon. Honestly, I personally think the one from Grovemade looks the best though. Now, some people may call this an aesthetic item rather than an essential one, but I beg to differ apart from being able to place your monitor on top of it. If you so choose, it serves as a great storage solution and a cool way to hide any cables that are forced to sit on your desk, like this coiled cable from glorious that I have here. And I also use it as a way to hide my Lewitt connect six audio interface, as well as a GameCube controller adapter for my Nintendo switch. That's sitting right on top of it. The cool thing about this one though, is that it comes with a split shelf in the middle, which is where I house my iPad along with this desk shelf tray, which is also from Grovemade. Mid. The biggest downside to this item though, in my opinion, besides the price, is the fact that the tray is sold separately and it's $150. Again though, there are cheaper alternatives out there and I'm not including the tray itself as an essential item here, just a desk shelf. If you're wondering why this stuff is so expensive, it's because everything Grove made makes is handcrafted and really high quality. I've worked with them once in the past for a TikTok video, but I was never under any contract and I'm not required to say any of the things that I have been saying about their products. They are really good, just really expensive. But with that being said, here's a simple upgrade for those of you who are on a budget. If you have have four lousy dollars buy wallpaper engine. It's on steam and no, it's not a physical upgrade, but your display is a big part of your setup. And if it doesn't look good, then that's a problem. If you don't want to spend time searching for cool wallpapers on the steam workshop, don't worry. Cause I've already done that for you. I have a steam wallpaper engine collection that I will link down in the description. From there, you'll have access to over 180 different wallpapers that I've personally selected. These range from your basic wallpapers, like cool landscapes and topography, like the one that I have behind me to anime and gaming. So whatever you're into, you'll find something you like. I am sure of it. They're all free by the way. And it's just a basic collection. I don't actually make any money 
off of it. And I also didn't make the wallpaper. So credit goes to all the people listed on the sidebar of that page. If you do go check it out. If you don't want to spend the four bucks though, you can always get lively wallpaper. That's another pretty good alternative. That one's free or you can go with like any other wallpaper app that other people recommend. Honestly, the choice is yours. We haven't really talked about any important peripherals. So let's do a little bit of that. These are the SteelSeries Arctis 7 Nova wireless headphones. And out of all the headphones I have ever used, these are my favorite ones by far. They have a 38 hour battery life, built in microphone for those of you who need one. Pretty great sound in my opinion, which you can change using the SteelSeries GG app if you'd like. But the reason why I recommend SteelSeries headsets overall, not even just these ones, is for the dual connectivity. It's really, really helpful. These things come with a USB Type-C dongle, but they also come equipped with Bluetooth, which you can use at the same time as the dongle. So for me, I have my headset dongle linked up to my PC, but I'll use my Nintendo Switch or phone through Bluetooth. So I never have to awkwardly take off my headset when I want to use a different system. And it is such a blessing, let me tell you, like super convenient. If you don't want to drop the cash on these specific ones, SteelSeries has cheaper options available on Amazon. Just make sure it's wireless and supports dual connectivity because clean and convenient are just such a good combo. Moving on to the next upgrade, we have cable clips. Now, why are these things an upgrade? Because they will literally save the appearance of your setup more than anything else on this list. Bad cable management will absolutely ruin a nice setup but that's just a fact. And if you're against cable management, sorry. 50 of these clips were like 12 bucks and they have an adhesive backing so you can stick them onto whatever you want. I personally stuck them onto the underside of both of my Carlby desks and rooted all of my cables through them. These help keep all those ugly wires off the ground while also preventing every single wire from being shoved into one tight space where the power strip is. And if you want, you can also buy a cable management tray like I have or just mount your power strip upside down with 3M adhesive, which honestly might just be a cleaner option overall. And speaking of mounting things upside down with 3M adhesive, this is the Anchor 10 port USB 3.0 hub, an absolutely essential item that I literally cannot live without. And it's such a simple product. This USB hub is powered from an outlet rather than a computer connection. So you can plug in your devices that require more power than say a mouse and not have to worry about if they'll be getting enough power. Using the cable clips and adhesive, I have mine tucked away upside down out of sight right next to where I sit at my computer so you can't see it, but I'm always within an arm's length. Super convenient when I have to edit videos or just connect like a controller to my computer quickly. The final desk setup upgrade is not tech and it's kind of categorized as an aesthetic upgrade, but I honestly think it's pretty essential at this point. Coming from a guy who's had a bare bones setup and a flashy setup, you need to invest in some kind of decoration. I do plants, you could do posters, you could do Ikea pegboards if you really want, but filling up that wall space is super, super helpful. I won't even lie, even with like productivity, not even just the aesthetics, makes you feel like you're in the zone a lot more. I wish this was something that could go without saying, but I've seen and had way too many different versions of setups that look super clean, but are completely shunned by their surroundings. It just makes no sense. Why do you want a super clean setup if everything around it is just going to completely bog it down? As you've definitely noticed by this point in the video, I have a ton of different fake plants thrown about in my setup. All of these are from Ikea and they only cost a few dollars each. Since I can't actually drill into my walls, I actually recently added these command strip shelves above my nano leaf panels, then added some anime figures and long plants to them. And I think it looks really nice. I also have some more plants accenting my computer along with this levitating lamp. This thing's pretty cool, but it's super overpriced. And again, if you don't want to go the plant or anime route for decorations, getting posters and especially framing them will look amazing as well. I'll actually put a photo of another tech creator setup who did what I just said and instead of what I've done. So that way you can get an idea of what his setup looks like and maybe you can use his as a reference for what you wanna do in the future. And that's it. Those are the 10 essential desk setup upgrades, at least in my opinion. Obviously there are a plethora of other upgrades you can make to really drive your setup home. So if you have any other recommendations that I didn't cover in this video, just drop them in the comments, why not? Thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. And if you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and maybe subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. Thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care. I definitely do, because this game's stupid. <laughs> oh my god! Let's roll. Dude, out. I thought there was no way. They <laughs> let's, let's, let's go kill some zombies. Wait, what's my, what's my weapon?